Welcome to the Dr. Journal Club Podcast, the show that goes under the hood of evidence-based integrative medicine. We review recent research articles, interview evidence-based medicine thought leaders, and discuss the challenges and opportunities of integrating evidence-based and integrative medicine. Continue your learning after the show at www.drjournalclub.com. Please bear in mind that this is for educational and entertainment purposes only. Talk to your doctor before making any medical decisions, changes, etc. Everything we're talking about, that's to teach you guys stuff and have fun. We are not your doctors. Also, we would love to answer your specific questions. On drjournalclub.com, you can post questions and comments for specific videos. But go ahead and email us directly at josh at drjournalclub.com. That's josh at drjournalclub.com. Send us your listener questions and we will discuss it on our pod. Hello and welcome to another super speedy summary. This is your host, Dr. Joshua Goldenberg. And today we're going to be talking about this really cool topic of probiotics and mental health. And this is a really, really cool uh, systematic review and meta-analysis that was reviewed by our own Dr. Hughes. So go ahead and watch the full basic level uh, video for this one. But in brief, mental illness, as you probably know, is pretty common. About one third of adults will experience some form of mental illness in their lifetime. So pretty, pretty common. Patients with mental illness have twice the mortality rate of the general population. That blew my mind a little bit when I first heard it. And so the question is, you know, will giving probiotics help people with mental illness? Now, the rationale for this is quite interesting. So we would assume that probiotics, prebiotics, symbiotics would help with dysbiosis in the large intestine. That seems reasonable. What we're learning is that that helps with overall inflammatory loads. So having a dysbiotic gut can lead to inflammation. So the theory is if you give probiotics, that'll decrease inflammation. We also have evidence that inflammation can actually damage neural tissues themselves. And that may have impacts on mental illness and manifest in that way. So this is the proposed mechanism. And what's really cool about this study is they meta-analyzed data not just from the patient important outcome of mental illness and the symptoms they're in, but also all along this pathway, right? So what was the evidence that inflammatory load was decreasing? What was the evidence that antioxidant load was decreasing, etc.? So like I said, systematic review and meta-analysis, they found 12 randomized controlled trials. They had a very broad screen. They were looking for any mental health illness, uh, but they were really only able to find for depression. There just wasn't enough research out there yet. This is a very new field. And what did they find? So what they found was when meta-analyzed together, probiotics and symbiotics are associated with a significant reduction in depression as measured with the HAMD. They did not see a significant reduction with the Beck's depression inventory. Reductions in inflammation, as they saw with CRP, a relatively large impact on CRP. RP uh, and a smaller impact on TNF-alpha and reduction in oxidative stress uh, in some but not all markers. So very, very interesting study. Go ahead and watch the basic level video where Dr. Hughes really walks you through in very nice detail, including some important background, the results of this meta-analysis. If you enjoy this podcast, chances are that one of your colleagues and friends probably would as well. Please do us a favor and let them know about the podcast. And if you have a little bit of extra time, even just a few seconds, if you could rate us and review us on Apple Podcasts or any other distributor, it would be greatly appreciated. It would mean a lot to us and help get the word out to other people that would really enjoy our content. Thank you. Hey, y'all, this is Josh. You know, we talked about some really interesting stuff today. I think one of the things we're going to do that's relevant, there is a course we have on Dr. Journal Club called the EBM Boot Camp that's really meant for clinicians to sort of help them understand how to critically evaluate the literature, uh, et cetera, et cetera. Some of the things that we've been talking about today. Go ahead and check out the show notes link. We're going to link to it directly. I think it might be of interest. Don't forget to follow us on social and interact with us on social media at Dr. Journal Club, DR Journal Club on Twitter. We're on Facebook. We're on LinkedIn, et cetera, et cetera. So please reach out to us. We always love to talk to our fans and our listeners. If you have any specific questions you'd like to ask us about research, evidence, being a clinician, et cetera, don't hesitate to ask. And then, of course, if you have any topics that you'd like us to cover on the pod, please let us know 
as well. Thank you for listening to the Dr. Journal Club podcast, the show that goes under the hood of evidence-based integrative medicine. We review recent research articles, interview evidence-based medicine thought leaders, and discuss the challenges and opportunities of integrating evidence-based and integrative medicine. Be sure to visit www.drjournalclub.com to learn more.